So, looks like the Quran burning Swede is gonna fight a Russian in Turkey. <laughs> Does any of that matter? I mean, I don't know. I thought it was worthy of a mention. Why in Turkey? <laughs> oh, anyway, Otto Walin and Murat Gassiev will cross paths in what I deem to be a pretty interesting heavyweight matchup. Uh, both of these guys have been wallowing in Maya. One fighting complete bums in complete obscurity and the other one seemingly unable to secure a meaningful fight ever since he gave Tyson Fury one of his toughest and arguably should have won that fight by TKO. Right? If you think Joe Joyce should have been stopped because he had a swollen eye. Well, what do you say about Tyson Fury? Right. But yeah. Walin has been somewhat avoided and Gassiev has just been avoiding the spotlight. So it's safe to say neither one of these guys has been a tasty morsel for anybody in a heavyweight division. So maybe... Uh, a decent meal for each other, right? Both of them gotta eat. Both of them are hungry. So the fight makes sense. And I like the fight because the verdict's still out on Waleen, right? I think he's pretty decent, but how good is he? And the verdict is definitely out on Garcia. I mean, as good of a cruiserweight as he was, he would always get outboxed and then bam, right? At least by Southpaws with boxing ability. And then he stepped up to a certain Southpaw with a certain higher level. Perhaps maybe the best Southpaw in the game. I don't agree, but one of them. And he got completely schooled. And the BAM moment, even though it was there, it really didn't have that much of an effect, right? Elite chins are what they are. So... This is why the fight's interesting, right? Does Walin have the skill to outbox Gassiev and not get hit too cleanly or too often? And when he does, right, does Gassiev have the power to knock him out? Hurt him, stop him? I have no clue. I do think Walin's going to be able to outbox Gassiev. I don't know for how long. So I think Walin is going to make this fight interesting and Gassiev's punching power as well I think Walin's gonna be taking rounds or portions of rounds of Gassiev which will make him more eager and frustrated will make him take chances pursue the fight more at least you know provided that both guys are there to win and it's gonna make Gassiev force confrontations and those are gonna be very interesting Right, And as the fight wears on and Walin slows down a little bit, there might be more of those confrontations. So, because I don't know anything really about Gassiev at heavyweight. And at this point in time, Walin is just as big of a question mark for me anyway, because he really hasn't done anything as of late. So... I have no clue who wins this fight. I'm going to tentatively and cautiously favor Garcia because I think he will get to him. I do think he's going to get outboxed in spots, but then he will get to him. And it's going to be interesting. So Walin is 6'5 and a half with a 78 inch reach. And Garcia is. Two inch shorter with two inches less reach or something like that. And Walin, at least officially, seems to have about 20 pounds of Gassiev. But Gassiev is just solid, right? And Walin could, you know, burn up some of that fat he carries. So there's probably a 10 pound difference between these two guys. 10 pounds that make a difference or... 
I guess effective weight, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, if the fight goes the distance, hmm, who do you think gets it? <laughs> I don't know, but I find, and it's and it's close, right? If the fight goes the distance, and there are no multiple knockdowns or situations where Gassiev's two or three punches that he is able to land have such great effect on Malin, maybe even without knocking him down, that you have to give him the rounds, right? Unless something like that happens, Malin should be the favorite to win on the cards, right? But again, you could never count out boxing politics, right? And it's interesting how the people who complain politics the most, when it's convenient, right, inject their own politics into the sport. Oh, what a bunch of clowns. Anyway, I'm going to say Gassiev is a slight favorite for me at this point in time. Because boxing is corrupt and he's got the equalizer. And I think he's going to be able to get to Waleen enough. I don't know that he's going to be able to stop him. Because, again, we got to see how that power translates into the heavyweight division. And not against the bum. You know what I mean? So, it's a very interesting fight. And it's you could call it a 50-50 if you wanted to, I wouldn't be mad. Um, I look forward to it. And I'm glad that both of these guys finally have a fight worthy of talking about.